The tales from a frightening series of kids' books finally come to life in theaters. This is a review of the new film, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. For years, the people in this town told lies about me. They locked me away, called me a monster. Now, they will get the monster they all deserve. If you've ever seen a horror movie, you know the things that people shouldn't do are always what they do, and that's the case with Stella and her friends. I'm afraid that we woke something up. Sarah Bellows is a myth. Do you know what you have done? You made her angry. Some big-name writers in Guillermo del Toro, the Hagman brothers, and John August tackle author Alvin Schwartz's beloved Scary Stories series, adapting several tales from the books into one that takes place in 1968 while the Vietnam War was escalating and Nixon was running. It features a very good cast of fresh-faced youngsters led by Zoe Coletti, Michael Garza, Gabriel Rush, and Austin Abrams. I went in not knowing the source material, but I'm imagining the setup had to be a bit quicker. This started fine, but the drag before things got going was a bit rough. However, when the story picked up, it delivered some good scares, creepy monsters, and a few moments that made the hairs on my arms stand up. And I tell you, I love that stuff. The effects were really good. The absorbing woman in the red room, I don't know what she's called, but that smile, so weird. It'll stick with you. The jangly man who not only loses his head, he'll get in yours. And then there's Harold. You'll see. While the story is based on kids' books, the movie comes with a PG-13 rating, and it might be a bit much for really young kids, but it won't traumatize anyone more than what their imagination is already capable of. And for that, I give scary stories to tell in the dark, three stars out of five on the Rob rating scale. In this case, the creeps are worth the wait. I'm Rob LaFriends, and I'll see you at the concession stand.